Hi there, welcome back to a tutorial series on YouTube that is sponsored by O3 Schools Jam app. Don't forget that O3 Schools Jam app is an amazing app created for students to help them make necessary preparations that they will need to make before, you know, sitting for whatever examinations that they have coming up. Now, our topic under Christian Religious Studies for today is God's Provision. God's provision. God provides for his people and today we'll look at some instances in the Bible where God provided and the first one we'll look at is the story of Hagar and Ishmael. And you'll find this in Genesis chapter 21. Hagar was Sarah's maid and Ishmael was the son of Abraham and Hagar. So after Sarah gave birth to her own child, Isaac, Hagar became disrespectful and Sarah asked Abraham to send her away. Although Abraham did not want to, God asked him to do as Sarah has told him. So Abraham gave Hagar bread and water and sent her and Ishmael on their way. Hagar and Ishmael came to the wilderness at Beersheba. Wilderness, let's say of Beersheba. There, their water ran out in the wilderness of Beersheba. Their water ran out, and Hagar put Ishmael far away from her. She didn't want to witness the child dying of thirst. And God opened her eyes. She saw a well. There, she drew water. And she, she drank and gave to her son to drink. So God provided for Hagar and Ishmael, and they did not die of thirst. Another instance where God provided was in the case of Abraham, as it was recorded in Genesis chapter 22. Now here, God asked Abraham to offer his only son, Isaac, as a sacrifice to him in the land of Moriah. Let's have the spelling. Moriah. Early the next morning, Abraham set out with Isaac and two of his men for the land of Moriah, where God had asked him to sacrifice his son. God wanted to test Abraham. So by the time they got close to where Abraham would offer the sacrifice, he asked the two men to stay behind, that he will go, him and Isaac will go to offer the sacrifice and then come back to meet them. They will go home. So Abraham and Isaac continued on the journey alone. And along the journey, Isaac asked Abraham what they were supposed to use for sacrifice. And Abraham told him that the Lord will provide. After when they got there, after Abraham had set up the altar to, to, for the sacrifice, he tied Isaac and was about to offer him when God stopped him. And instead, God provided a ram. In this instance, God provided a ram for Abraham. So God provided a ram for Abraham to use as a sacrifice instead of Isaac. Another instance in the Bible where God provided was for the children of Israel. And we can find this in Exodus chapter 16 and 17, where God provided for the children of Israel in the wilderness. First, the children of Israel came to the wilderness of sin. There, they complained of hunger. So when the children of Israel came to the wilderness of sin, they complained to God of hunger and God promised to send them bread from heaven in the morning and meat at night. The bread they called manna and the meat quail. So in the wilderness of sin, God provided manna and quail for the Israelites to quench their hunger. And then when the Israelites came to refuge him, there was no water to drink, so they complained of thirst. They complained to Moses of thirst, and Moses also complained to God. 
where God told him to, in the presence of the elders, God said he should strike the rock at Horeb. Moses struck the rock at Horeb. And water gushed out. Moses struck the rock at Horeb and God provided water for the Israelites when they were refugees. And then in Numbers chapter 20, the children of Israel came to the wilderness of Zin. And there, there was also no water for them to drink. They complained again to Moses, and Moses cried to God. But this time, God told him to speak to the rock in the presence of the Israelites, of the children of Israel. God asked Moses to speak to the rock at the wilderness of Zin. But out of anger, Moses struck the rock twice, and water gushed out. So God provided for the children of Israel. These are just some instances. In the wilderness of Zin, God provided food manna and quail for them to eat day and night. And then in Rephidim, he provided water. Also in the wilderness of Zin, God also provided water. We also see the case of Elijah. As it is recorded in 1 Kings chapter 17. Elijah seized rain. He stopped rain and God asked him to go to Brook sharing. While Elijah was there, God provided for him by sending ravens to feed him meat and bread. Bread and meat. Morning and evening. So God sent ravens to feed Elijah. And then he got his water from the brook. When the brook dried up, God asked him to go to Zarephath. There, God had commanded a widow to feed Elijah. And when Elijah got to Zarephath, he met a widow by the gate gathering wood. So he asked her for water and a little bread, where she told him that all she had was just a little flour and a jar of oil which she wanted to prepare for herself and her son so that they would eat and die. But Elijah told her not to be worried or scared. That as long as God lives, her, fl her flour and her oil will not run out. All she had to do was just to make him a little cake first before she prepared for herself and her son. The woman did just as Elijah had said, and throughout the period of drought, God provided for Elijah and the woman, as well as her household. All these are instances in the Bible where God provided for his people. So we've seen God's provision in these examples. So now we head over to the O3 Schools Jam app to fish out some questions that have been asked under this topic, God's provision. Meanwhile, please don't forget to like this video, comment your questions down below if you have any, and also subscribe. So here, there's a question from 2001. It says, Moses told the Israelites that the Lord would give them flesh in the evening and bread in the morning because he had A, heard their prayers, B, seen their suffering, C, heard their murmurings, D, promised to feed them. God promised to do that because he had heard their murmurings, according to the Bible. God had heard their murmurings and he promised to send bread and meat for them in the morning and in the evening. This is a question from 2020. The Lord provided water for the Israelites firstly at Rephidim, in the wilderness of Sin, in the wilderness of Shur, at Fihahirot. The answer is at A, Rephidim. God first provided water for the Israelites at Rephidim before he also provided it for them in the wilderness of Zin. So the first time was in option A, at Rephidim. We also have another question here. And in the morning, you shall see the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord in this statement above was manifested when God, A, provided the Israelites with bread, B, provided the Israelites with lamb, C, gave the Israelites water to drink, and D, delivered the Israelites from the Egyptians. The answer is A, provided the Israelites with bread. Moses told them that they would see the glory of the Lord in the morning. And that morning, God rained down bread from heaven. So these are some questions under this topic, God's provision. 
you download the O3 Schools Jam app and, you know, find out more questions from this topic and answer. Thank you for watching.